Okay, so today we're going deep on something kind of fascinating. Yeah. Like, ever notice how we kind of can't look away when things go wrong? Oh, totally. Those hot mess moments. Right. Like, in our own lives. Mm -hmm. And maybe especially with other people. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, we've got this excerpt, right? Yes. It's all about why we love disaster stories so much. Like, psychologically. Yeah, exactly. And it got me thinking. Yeah. Why do we find it so funny when things go hilariously wrong? Hmm. That's a great question. Is it just us being kind of mean? Or is there something deeper there? Well, the excerpt says that these like messy moments can actually help us connect with each other. Oh, interesting. It's like we all mess up sometimes. Right. And when we can laugh about it together, yeah. it reminds us we're not alone in it. Like that feeling when someone tells a story about yeah. completely bombing a presentation. Oh, I've been there. Or like accidentally texting the wrong person. Oh, the worst. Totally. And you're like, oh, thank goodness I'm not the only one. Exactly. It's like a shared experience of being human. Right. Not perfect, just human. And there's actually a psychological benefit to laughing at those situations. Really? Yeah. It can be a healthy way to cope. Huh. It helps you process difficult emotions. So it's healthy to laugh at our own mistakes. Totally. Like, give yourself a break, you know. But the excerpt also mentions schadenfreude. Ooh, that's a good word. Right. That feeling when you kind of enjoy seeing someone else's misfortune. It sounds bad, but it's complicated. So it's not just us being mean. Not necessarily. It ties into this thing called social comparison theory. Social comparison? We're always sizing ourselves up against other people. Oh, I do that all the time. We all do it. It's natural. Interesting. So when someone we think is better than us messes up, it right. can actually make us feel better about ourselves. Whoa, subconsciously. Subconsciously, yeah. Like a little boost to our self-esteem. Like if someone who seems to have it all together suddenly trips and falls. Exactly. Our brains are like, see, they're not perfect either. And this is even stronger when it comes to celebrities, right? Absolutely. The excerpt talks about our fascination with celebrity breakdowns. Yeah, those are hard to ignore. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Like what? First, we often feel like we know celebrities personally. Even though we don't really. Right. It's called a parasocial relationship. Huh. I never heard that term. So when they go through something tough, it hits us harder. Like it's happening to a friend almost. Exactly. And then there's the media. Always going to make things more dramatic. Right. They blow things out of proportion. Totally. So it's this weird mix of relatability and over-the-top drama. Exactly. And it plays into this whole idea of hot mess moments as a way to be real. Oh, I like that. Like a reality check. In a world full of perfect Instagram feeds. All those filters and curated lives. Yeah. Seeing someone mess up, even a celebrity can be a relief. Reminds us that nobody's perfect. Exactly. It's a reminder that it's okay to be human. And that maybe those perfect lives online aren't so perfect after all. It makes you think, doesn't it? It does. Makes me wonder if all this perfectness online makes us crave those hot mess moments even more. I think that's a real possibility. Like a counterbalance. Social media can make us feel like we're not good enough. Like we need to present this perfect version of ourselves. Exactly. And then we see someone else screw up. And it's like, phew, okay, I'm not alone. Precisely. We all have those moments. It's true. I know I've definitely had some hot mess moments I can laugh about now. Oh, me too, for sure. It's all part of being human, right? Absolutely. And being able to laugh at those moments, it's a good thing. Shows we don't take ourselves too seriously. And that we can learn from our mistakes. I think that's a great message for everyone listening. Totally. Like next time you see someone having a public meltdown or you have your own epic fail. Just remember, we've all been there. It's the human experience. Embrace the chaos. Find the humor. Yeah. And remember, we're all connected through our imperfections. I love that. It's a good reminder to be kind to ourselves and to each other. Exactly. Well, this has been a fascinating deep dive. It really has. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for listening.